Father, today I come before you on behalf of your children, Lord. As I'm about to speak a word to the public, I ask, Lord, that that person who's watching right now, that you bless him, bless her. Lord, give courage today. Give comfort, Lord. Oh, God, I ask that, Lord, as I speak, that your words will bring courage, will bring light, will bring understanding. Oh, God, that someone will come to know you and the power of your salvation. Lord, just bless today and be pleased with whatever I say, with whatever I do. And Lord, bless the hearers. Bless them so much so that God, it will surpass their understanding. Father, I pray all of this only in your name, Jesus. Amen. Hi there and welcome to today's Word with Sue. Today I want to encourage somebody out there who might be going through, who might be being tested. Maybe your character is being tested today. Maybe someone's making fun of your name, <clears throat> your identity. But I want to talk to you today about your name, your identity. From the fact that you decided to follow Christ, it meant that you took on the identity of Christ. And so you, you're a carrier of the name of Jesus. And I don't know if you know this, or if you're aware of this, but the name of Jesus is a mighty strong tower, so much so that the righteous can run into it and be safe. That's how powerful the name of Jesus is. You know, I'm a teacher and sometimes I come across a funny name and you know, sometimes, believe it or not, I make fun of these names. But today, God is showing me how important my name and how my name is how important your name is because we all have put on the name of jesus and because jesus has made us he made us he made us to be ambassadors he made us to be his light in this earth and he called us salt of the earth do you know what salt does <clears throat> salt preserves it keeps that's what we are can you imagine that? He also called us light. Light, once it's in the atmosphere, all darkness flees. And so that's what you have to remember that you are today. What is your name? Well, your name is Jesus. And who is Jesus? The all-powerful, the almighty God who gives you salvation, who has set you free by his blood. And I want to come to you from the scripture, Matthew chapter 1 and verse 21. And it says in the NLT version, And she will have a son, and you are to name him Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. Amen. And do you know what the name Jesus means? It means the Lord saves. Yes, that's what it means, the Lord saves. What does your name mean? <clears throat> well, I've done the research and according to the sources out there, my name means Rose or Lily. That's what Suzanne means. And there's so many other names out there I could name and tell you their meanings. But there's only one name today that I want to talk about. And again, that is the name. You guessed it. You guessed it. Jesus. Jesus. Can you say that name with me? Jesus. The all-powerful name. Jesus. Demons tremble at the name of Jesus. Do you know that? It says that every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus is Lord. <clears throat> now, if Jesus is Lord of your life today, I want to tell you this, that, oh, you have a name that is all powerful. That's such a glorious name. All I want to do right now is just worship him. And I want you to worship him with me because knowing that your identity is found in him, no longer are we identified <clears throat> by what this world knows us as. <clears throat> Maybe you've come into this faith walk and you've been called a Christian. And today, so many people are out there calling themselves Christians. But who is a Christian? A follower of Christ. I'm not talking about a Christian who goes to church one day and goes to the club the next or you know the person who proclaims that they know Jesus but yet 
on a Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday, they're worshiping the enemy, the devil. I'm talking about those of us who have decided in our hearts that we're going to follow after Christ, truthfully. That we're going to worship him in spirit and in truth. That we don't just have a tag called Christian, but that we are Christians. We are followers of Christ. And we are now being identified with Christ Jesus. We've been buried with him in water baptism. We've been filled with his Holy Spirit. And now we can proclaim his name, Jesus, the Almighty God. Who are you in him today? Who are you? Who are you? Whose are you? Do you belong to him? If you belong to him, you know you belong to a king, the king of kings, the Lord of lords. Today, this message is really to serve as a reminder to you of who you are in Christ. That you are the son of God, the child of God, adopted, adopted into his family. <clears throat> when we were once known as what? We were once known as dogs and sorcerers. <clears throat> That's what we were known as. We were known as pagans, having nothing to do with the commonwealth of Israel. But Jesus, he decided to shed his blood for us so that now we can be called the sons of God. Why the sons? Why not? Why don't I say the daughters? In this context, what I mean is when you think back historically, the firstborn son, the son was given all the rights. He was the heir of all that the parents had. That's what you are. You're a son of God because you are a joint heir with Christ. He has brought you into this fold so that now you have you have access to all the, the, the things, all the inheritances, <clears throat> all the things that follow after his blood. Salvation, hope, love, joy, peace. You, you can now inherit a, an eternal home in heaven. That's what it means to be a follower of Christ. That's what it means to be adopted into this family. That's what it means to have his name on you. I am, my name is Christ. My name is Victory. My name is, you name it, peace. He says, I am that I am. You're following a Christ, a God who is the I am that I am. He is everything, anything you need him to be. If you don't have a mother today, he can be your mother. If you don't have a father, he is your father because he is God. He is God. He is altogether lovely. He is my all in all. <clears throat> Proclaim his name today. <clears throat> What's in a name? What's in his name? Power. What's in his name? Salvation. What's in his name? Authority. <clears throat> so today you might be suffering from some kind of illness. You might need healing. Proclaim the name of Jesus. You have his name on you. You're a carrier of the name of Jesus. You're identified with the name of Jesus. Call upon his name. Believe that by his name, you are healed. That by his name, you have power. In his name, all demons must flee. Hallelujah. When you call upon the name of Jesus, you're breaking chains. You're breaking yokes of bondage. Today, when you call upon the name of Jesus and you identify yourself with him, you're acknowledging him as your king of kings, your lord of lords, the great holy one, the lion of the tribe of Judah. When you acknowledge him as those things in your life, no tongue, no weapon that, that is formed against you will prosper. No tongue that rises up against you in huh, to judge you, it shall not prosper. The, the tongue that rises up against you shall be condemned because you are a child of God. You are a son of God. And the enemy cannot take away your inheritance. God has given you power today to trample upon serpents the adder. You have power to overcome today. Hallelujah. Don't give up this authority with doubt. Don't give it up. When you trust in him, he will empower you for the rest. He will empower you for your day. Hallelujah. By his stripes, we are healed. Because he shed his blood, we are healed today.
trust in a God who has called you his my child will you come he's calling you today don't turn him away if you hear his voice today do not harden your heart but trust in the name of Jesus for at the name of Jesus every knee shall bow and every tongue must confess that he is Lord confess him as your Lord and Savior today and he will take care of the rest you will not regret following after Jesus hallelujah he shall save his people from their sins what does it say he came so that we may have life and have it more abundantly and here again in Matthew chapter 1 it says in verse 21 and she will have a son and you are to name him Jesus for he will save his people from their sins that's why he came he purposed that we should have salvation this is the purpose he made you to glorify him so walk freely in the name of Jesus today and be blessed we have come here to